Hey everyone, I just wanted to do a vlog outside because as you can see, the Christmas lights are all up pretty much. I got a bit more to add, but I wanted to go ahead and vlog about it already because all that you see here, all these lights, um, Christmas lights, this was a tradition that me and my dad would do since I was young. He taught me how to wire up the Christmas lights and uh, yeah, some of the power lines that we still use for the yard are what he and I made when he was still alive. He passed in December, almost 20 years ago, and it was my last semester in college and every Christmas our house is always lit up bright like this and the year that he passed was the only year that the house went dark because he passed away in the Philippines and um, and that's how he wanted it actually, that he, he passed on his own terms and he really wanted to be home uh, over there where and buried with his um, father, my grandfather. So every year until now, it's been almost 20 years since he passed, we still carry on the tradition of lighting up the house to remember him. And so this is my tribute vlog to my dad who taught me everything about lighting and um, yeah, it kind of sparked my interest in lighting and a big part of why I do lighting for a living nowadays started with all the fundamental things that I learned from him. So I'm going to do a little show and tell of the house for you all and uh, I still got more to add but his anniversary, his death anniversary was December 13th, just last Friday. So I just felt compelled to do this vlog now. And yeah, just pay tribute to my dad who taught me how to do this and we still carry on the tradition of lighting up the house to honor him and remember him during this time. I wanted to share a special story about my dad because, you know, for all the years, again, like almost 20 years now, since he passed in 2000, um, I've carried on the tradition of lighting up the house. Um, pretty much everybody's grown up. All the grandkids don't live here. Um, yeah, it's just grown-ups, but yet I still just do, been, you know, lighting up the house every year just as a memorial to him and to just kind of brighten up uh, the holiday season, especially because it's kind of like dampened a little bit. And, you know, yeah, so we just light up the outside and especially on Christmas time when my dad was around, he would always stay out here at the porch uh, having a cocktail and uh, I carry on that tradition now as well and um, yeah he just likes sitting out here especially during the holidays and I find that whenever we light up the house in December my mom likes coming out here too and just sitting out so when the lights are on I feel him around I feel him here and um, yeah we just Kind of acknowledge his presence so interesting enough one year it was after christmas it was january right at the new year and i went to a local fortune teller by the name of gina hi gina and uh, i just went to her to actually just find out what was in store for me business wise for the lighting business i just inquired about lighting uh, and the business and then when I went to see her you know she lays out her cards that she uses to read for people and she started to talk about my business and then suddenly she was interrupted and she just had this interrupted look on her face like she just stopped you know what she was her ori original train of thought and then all of a sudden she was like is your dad passed or is your dad dad right and I and I said yeah he's been gone for a long time why and then she goes well um, because I feel like there's uh, like a, a presence who I feel like it's like your father and he's pushing his way to the front and he's kind of like he's got an attitude and that totally sounds like my dad and he, he was bossy and kind of you know like a, a boorish man so 
um, I was like, oh my gosh, okay, so what what does he want? Because I didn't call him yet. And um, so Gina says, um, yeah, and mind you, at that point, I, Gina didn't know me and what I do and our traditions here at home. And so Gina starts talking and she says, the Christmas lights, that was your thing, right? You and your dad, that's what you guys used to do. And he, first thing he wanted to say was that he really appreciates that you've been doing the lights all these years and he doesn't want you to stop doing that. And I got so, oh God, I'm getting choked up right now. Gina didn't know my family, so I don't know, that just like, wow, like, wow, that really confirmed, you know, that he's still around. Yeah, so, um, our house is literally like lit up like the National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation movie. Like, we are the only one, you know, pretty bright like this, but you know, it, it makes me happy. And I know it would also make my dad happy. I mean, just this year when I was setting up the lights, my neighbor across the street, like, it was so weird because I was just like thinking about my dad in the same way, like him sitting on the porch having a drink. And then my um, neighbor across the street, like, as I was thinking that, walks across to my house right at the gate. And he was like, hey, your dad would be, like, so proud of you, like, the way the display looks, right? And so I was like, wow, um, I was just thinking about him. And then he goes, yeah, I can picture him, you know, having his drink on the porch. And it was just so weird because what he was describing was exactly what I was thinking at the same time, but I was across the street before my neighbor walked across to talk about the same thing that was on his mind. Isn't that weird? So I don't know, I just took that as another confirmation that, you know, somebody was kind of sitting there and, you know, watching over the, the lighting setup.